What the heck is going on? Lump. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Ferbenin here. Welcome back to the game Hungry Lamu. So Lamu is back. And supposedly there is a new ending. So let's go ahead and see if we can see what the new ending is. See what the difference would be. Oh, already. You can already see like there's a little bit like there's more fruit and bananas laying around. You already know that's not really fruit and bananas, but you know, let's just keep on this happy filter for a while. Hello, Namu. You had a good nap, didn't you? Oh dear, it looks like somebody's hungry. Let's go find some food for that big stomach of yours, Lamu. Like already, you already see like all these notes. <laughs> Lamu's favorite book. If only Lamu could still read. Lamu used to be a human? Or he, Lamu used to be able to read? I don't know. Why can't Lamu read anymore? Okay, interesting. What about these fruit? You got anything to say? I wonder if we're gonna like, if the ending might have to be connected to like this cave because we had nothing to do with this cave last time. I don't even think we could get near the cave. Well, let's go. Isn't it a beautiful day, Lamu? Let's find some cherries to put in that stomach of yours. Nice, now we just gotta go ahead and eat some cherries. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. It's just perfectly normal. If you have never seen Lamu, Hungry Lamu before, this is a perfectly normal game where you play as a llama. You know, you're just trying to eat because you're hungry as one does as a llama, you know? Just going around with a happy smile on. Yum, weren't those cherries delicious? Still, Lamu is still hungry. Cherries are not enough for Lamu's stomach. Oh, what's that? Oh my gosh. Well, if it isn't a cute little banana. I'm, I'm, I just feel for the banana, guys. Just I feel for the banana. Lamu loves fruit. I'm sure this banana wouldn't mind helping Lamu. Let's go meet this banana, Lamu. Oh gosh. I really don't want to. I really don't want to meet this banana at all. Now that I know what I know, I don't, I don't. Hello, little banana. <laughs> oh dear, looks like I was wrong. The banana is very selfish and doesn't want to help Lamu. <laughs> we'll need to make the banana sleep so that Lamu can have a delicious meal. <laughs> oh, I don't want to make the banana sleep. Oh my gosh. This just feels so terrible once you know, guys. <laughs> what a hearty meal. I'm sure Banana didn't mind. Despite its sour attitude, it tasted very sweet. However, there's still some space in Lamu's big stomach. Oh, was that Lamu? <laughs> it's a bunch of fruit friends. We don't see a lot of them around here. Their fruits should be enough to fill up Lamu's stomach. Let's go say hi to them, Lamu. Uh, I don't want to say hi to them. I'm antisocial, please. Yeah, you see, they run away. <laughs> they should. <laughs> Looks like they want to play hot a game. Just like the other fruit friends were met in the past. How fun. Come on, Lamu. Let's find our new friends so we can have some of their delicious fruit. Oh, boy. This is exactly what I want, guys. I want to find my new friends so I can... Have some of that delicious fruit. <coughs> yum, yum, yum. Weren't your friends, fruit friends, just delicious, Lamu? What a great day. Playing with friends, eating delicious fruit, and having such fun. Today was a marvelous day, wasn't it, Lamu? Let's do it all again. Oh, was that Lamu? You're still hungry? Well, there's one, my fruit friend, that you haven't eaten yet. Oh, I hate it. What the heck, man? Sounds like Tasha. Told her not to make such a ragas. Let's see what they're up to. Oh, man, this sucks. I gotta, oh, I gotta go find the campsite. I gotta go find my friends. Oh, gosh, this is literally the worst. Tab? Oh, I have a map now. That is so, okay, so it says do not go beyond here. Park here, there's a trail, my friends, my dog. It says, Leon is hot, a poo-poo head. <laughs> Keep an eye on Mochi, P area. Lamu Forest Park challenge. They really called it a challenge. Oh my gosh. So I think maybe we can go beyond and go to the cursed cave. I think that's what the new ending would be. Where did they all go? 
Where's Mochi? Mochi! Where are you, girl? She could have ran off too far. I actually really like the name Mochi, not gonna lie. Oh, yeah, there's Mochi. Okay, so I think, yeah, this is definitely the way. I think if we continue going this way, we will be able to find the cave. Ooh, Mochi, Mochi, Mochi. What the freak? What did this poor girl, wh whichever you buttholes did this, this is freaked up. Tasha, Ken, Leon, where the heck are you guys? I wonder if they're going to be able to just let to let me like go go this way instead. I have to be able to look out for a freaking Lamu. It's so dark. Ooh, I heard something. Ah, oh, but I can't see! Oh, there's the cave. Oh, they actually let me go in the cave? Okay. Hey! Let's go! Is this the cursed cave they keep talking about? Shiz. Better safe in there than out here. Yeah, in the cursed cave. It's totally safe to go in the cursed cave. Oh my gosh, look at all these heads. Oh my gosh. Look at this place. These are all the meal. This is literally the, the fruit that we saw before. Is this Lamo's favorite book? Only fruit, only fruit? What the freak? Miss Mum? Surprise, today's Llama's birthday. His mom and dad made him a delicious fruit cake. Oh my, mom, dad, what a nice surprise. Lamu exclaimed, I didn't know you both could bake. Is this Lamu's origin story or is this someone just took, oh, I can interact with it. A children's book? Oh, I could read it the whole time. The llama is hungry. Lamu, we literally changed it to Lamu. The dad is a monster. I'm pretty sure the dad might have killed the mom and the, the, the child is just sad. Your name used to be Larry? Oh my gosh, we're literally getting some backstory to Lamu right now. I actually really like that, let's go. It's a new day today. Everybody's waking up. Lamu sees the sunshine and wakes up with a big yawn. It's a daily routine for this young animal to wake up well rested at the break of dawn. Rumble, rumble, Lamu's stomach growls. Looks like Lamu's hungry for some fresh food. Oh dear, that's a sign to go, Lamu said. Time for some breakfast. I sure hope it's good. Oh my gosh, what is that? Is someone injecting something into him? Like, I'm actually really enjoying that they gave us like lore to Lamu. I'm actually really enjoying this. Miss Home. Lama leaves his home, whistling as he walks, thinking of the adventure to find his meal. Tweet, tweet, toot, 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 tweet, he whistles gleefully. Overwhelmingly, Boria is what he truly feels. And then there's a page teared out. I'm pretty sure that was one of the pages on the floor. Look, both his parents are dead, and it says Miss Home. Lama used to be like a regular kid. That's sad. Burp. Oh my, how rude of me. Lamu says, what a delicious fruit, truly tasty. Lamu pats himself, satisfied with his feast. Now he has to head home, best not to be lazy. They are fruit, they are fruit, they are fruit, they are fruit, they are fruit. Oh my gosh. <gasps> no more home, run away. Lamu walks back home, belly very full. He reaches his home just when the moon rises he enters the door with a smile on his face, but what he saw next made him struck a pose. What what did he see? This is no more home, and he got like it looks like there's like police people and they see the Wait, did Lamu? You know, did the did this person you know his parents? Dr. Bronze exposed as fraud? Wait, what? Okay, so Dr. Eric Bronze, well known for his studies on interspecies genetics fusions has recently been exposed for fraud as his most recent studies and findings were proven to be falsified. On the 15th of April, Dr. Bronze revealed his findings of human-animal genetic fusions, allowing scientists to retrieve species specific DNA from animals and placing it into human bodies, allowing humans to have traits that were exclusive to animals. So, this person was able to turn, like, Larry, I think their name was, into Lamu? Bronze, what the heck are you doing? All your fault, I did not want anymore. After a long day, a fun time, Lama head to bed. He tucked himself into his warm blanket. He thought to himself, what a fun day. 
reminiscing about tomorrow's banquet. The end. Still hungry. Oh my gosh, guys. I feel like we just got a lot of lore. What the freak? And that's it. Is Lama going to be there behind me? What the heck is going on? Lama? Ah! I knew it! Oh my gosh, I knew it! Oh, I knew it! I knew it was going to be there behind me! Three of three old stories. Murder at bronze residence interesting at around 21 hours loud noises were heard within the browns residence concerned neighbors immediately dialed for emergency services to inspect the concerning incident what authorities found in the lovely home was absolutely horrifying the bronze family was well established within their friendly neighborhood well liked by their neighbors and even having occasional get-togethers Eric Bronze, 52, Tina Bronze, 51, and Blank were a happy family of three. That was his father? Was it Larry Bronze? Besides Dr. Eric Bronze's exposure of fraudulent scientific findings six months ago, the family lived with no grudges against any other people and minded their own business. It has come to a shock that on Saturday night, Dr. Eric and Tina Bronze were found brutally murdered in their own home with body missing from the terrifying crime scene. Dr. Eric and Tina Braun's heads were detached from their bodies, laid across the floor nowhere near their neck. The living room was a mess with furniture thrown about, flipped over. What the heck? This is so crazy! The graphic scene immediately triggered authorities to conduct a thorough investigation on the gruesome incident. Families are advised to stay indoors and lock any form of entry into their residential buildings for the time being. The authorities ensures the public that everything will be handled properly and swiftly. A search party has been conducted by the authorities to look for the young blank, dead or alive. It is still unknown who or what could have committed this horrendous act. Although we are all afraid, it is strongly advised to follow the authorities' orders in order to maintain not only our safety, but our loved ones as well. We can only hope that the culprit would be apprehended soon. Our deepest condolences to the extended family of Dr. Eric and Tina Browns. This was truly an unfortunate and undeserved incident. If you find this person or any resemblance of the young child, please report it to the authorities immediately. This is actually really sad. It's actually really sad. Llama was a child that was experimented on by his father. And whatever whatever happened made like when I guess when Lamu transformed, he like, you know, his whole family. And that's crazy. That's crazy. That's dark. And that's the new ending. Oh my gosh, guys. Let me know what you guys thought. Maybe I got some things wrong. Maybe. I don't know. But definitely let me know what you guys thought about this down below in the comments. As for me, I love the extra lore. I love the extra story. I'm happy now. I feel like this is kind of like tied up everything and kind of like, you know, you had that one question. Like, where, why does Lamy look like that? That's why he looks like that. Because he's half human, half llama. That's crazy. Anyways, that's gonna be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like down below. And if you want to see more from me, feel free to join my channel and to be sub subscribe button. I'll see you in my next video. Nina, out.